Hi everyone, thank you for coming tonight. It's our senior night and we would like to honor our senior and the seniors and their parents for all of the hard work and dedication they have given to this program over the last four years. It's been an honor coaching these girls this year and all four of them are my captains and they've done such an amazing job and I'm so proud of them. I'd first like to introduce the Milford seniors um, and honor them tonight. The first one being number three, Captain Maggie Boyle. Number 13, Captain Rachel LeBlanc. Number two, Brianna Braza. Number 10, Leanne Gibby. Number 14, Julia Oliveira. And now I'd like to introduce our seniors and their parents. Number three, senior captain, Lily Sykes. Run out to the, escorted by her parents, Charlie and Sarah Sykes. Number four, senior captain, Shayna Abbott. <laughs> Escorted by her father, Timothy Abbott, her mom, Lori Martin, and her stepdad, Carl Martin. Number five, senior captain, Olivia D'Antona. Escorted by her parents, Kelly and Rocco D'Antona. Number 20, Senior Captain Mackenzie Kuzak. <laughs> Escorted by her parents, Diane and Joe Kuzak. Thank you all again for coming, and now we'll do the team introduction.
And now introducing the starting lineups, starting with the Milford Hawks, number three captain, Maggie Boyle. Number eight, sophomore, Madeline Boyle. Number two, a senior, Brianna Braza. Number zero, freshman, Carly Ferreira. Number 20, sophomore, Annie Flanagan. Number six, sophomore, Juliana France. Number 10, senior, Leanne Kibbe. Number 13, the other captain, the senior, Rachel LeBlanc. Number 17, Junior, Hannah Martin. Number 11, Junior, Sienna Pierce. And number 28, sophomore, Ashley Stark. And now, the starting lineup for your MIAA Tournament Bound Lady Warriors. Number three, Captain Lily Sykes. Number four, Captain Shana Abbott. Number five, Senior Captain Olivia Dancona. Number six, freshman Caitlin Mullica. Number eight, sophomore Yara Fawaz. Number 15, freshman Emma Dahl. Number 19, Junior Mackenzie Frazier. Number 20, Senior Captain Mackenzie Huzak. Number 22, Sophomore Kendra Wentley. Number 3, Junior Alex Stamato. And number 25 in net, the sophomore, Jamie DeVellis. And the rest of your Foxborough Warriors.
All right, welcome here to Senior Night at the Sam Burns Community Field. I am uh, your play-by-play -play man, Mark Davis, along with Joe Cusack, uh, proud father of Mackenzie Cusack, senior uh, here at Senior Night. Uh, Joe, it's got to be an emotional night for you. Four years of soccer uh, com culminating in the final home game. Uh, depending on playoff seating, I guess, I don't know if we'll have a home game or not, but, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's great seeing the four seniors out there for Senior Night. Yeah, it's great. They've been playing for whatever 12 or 13 years now so it's pretty cool to uh it's kind of sad but it's kind of cool to see him playing against so. yeah well it's great to have you here with us tonight and uh for a gr great color perspective on the game uh you know it's it's going to be a, a good match up here with milford uh we're playing the milford scarlet hawks tonight uh you know milford right now i believe they're uh four seven and two in the hockey mark four eight and two overall uh the foxborough warriors are eight and five in the hockey mark nine six overall and as play has begun uh, Mackenzie, uh, you know, Mackenzie Frazier right after the ball. She's been on a hot streak lately. Again, right now, she's she's looking already to try to score. She's scored two goals in the past, uh, I think, two goals per game for the past three games. So she's really been on a roll. So it's a, it's a nice night here. It's a beautiful night for soccer. It's cool. Uh, I know it'll probably get a little bit cold. A good thing that we have our jackets here. Uh, but, um, you know, it, it's... It's a great night for soccer. Yeah, it's perfect. It feels like middle of September. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but some of the weather we've had lately has been crazy. So Foxborough's uh, hopefully will be able to take control of the action early in this game. Uh, I know they usually play a lot better once they get the lead. Uh, hopefully you don't have to come back. But they've been playing extremely well lately. The past two games, uh, the, they've, they're on a three-game win streak, Foxborough is, and they've shut out uh, the opponents twice, 6-0 on, on the past two games. So Jamie DeVellis in net has been doing a really good job, uh, you know, making the saves when she needs to, and, and the offense has really been controlling the games. So Milford has control of the ball going down the right-hand right, right -hand side. And it's Foxborough's ball. Foxborough at the throw with Yara Fawaz. It'll probably take everybody a minute to kind of get in the uh, flow of the game here. Yeah. Whenever you got a long ceremony before the game, I'm sure the kids on you know, both, both teams kind of get into, uh, you know, <laughs> feeling how important the game is. Yep, yep. You know, the thing I like that, that Foxborough does, and I, I think a lot of the other schools do it too, but, you know, honoring the seniors for the other team on senior night. I think it's a nice touch. You know, each, each uh, senior... Uh, from Milford got a uh, bouquet of roses, a uh, bouquet of flowers. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice job. I think that the, uh, you know, Fox, the, the Foxborough High School Boosters Club, you know, provide flowers for the seniors. I think it's a, a nice little touch. Yeah, they've been doing that for a long time. That's not something you want to, uh, not a tradition you want to get rid of. I, yeah. think it's, I think it's a great thing to do. And, um, you know, hey, you get a little, little bonus, I guess, as a visiting senior, too. You get like, go to a couple senior nights, get a couple sets of flowers. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not bad. So Milford with a free kick in down into the left hand side of the field. So Milford with the throw in and Jamie Develis with the save. Jamie with a big kick. So it looks like Mackenzie uh, Mackenzie Frazier taking it down the right hand side. Shana Abbott out in front with Caitlin Mollica. So Milford trying to uh, take control, but Mackenzie Frazier gets the ball going down the right side, fighting for that ball. Milford plays uh, good defense to shield him, tries to clear it out, and they do. But Foxborough kicks it right back in, and then Milford kicks it right back out over to the over to the stands. Only had about three and a half minutes of play. Uh, not really fluid yet. Like, you know, Joe, you brought up a good point. I think, you know, they're just kind of feeling each other out right now. Yeah, we've got a tough little line up front here with Mackenzie Frazier and uh, Shane Abbott. They're not uh, not afraid to go through the ball if they have to to, right. to get in there. So it uh, should be a good start for us if we can get the ball up to them. And as you mentioned, Shana Abbott, you know, if you, as you saw probably on the uh, on the highlights here, that uh, 
Yeah, Shane is a captain. She's a forward. Uh, she was escorted by her dad, uh, Tim, uh, her mom, Laurie Martin, and her stepdad, Carl Martin, uh, during the introductions. As well, like I said, you, you know, you and your, your, your lovely wife, Diane, walking Mackenzie out. Uh, the other parents here, we had uh, Charlie and, and, and Sarah Sykes walk, walking out, Lily, uh, and Olivia's parents. Um, you know, we had uh, Kelly and Rocco D'Antona bring her out to uh, midfield. Caitlin with the ball. Gets it over to Lily. And Lily tries to clear it down for uh, Olivia. That's what she does really well. Just switch the field and get <clears throat> get the ball out to the open people on the other side. Sometimes it's you know it's not easy to get the ball 40 yards the other way. So it's uh, absolutely you know, <laughs> accurate, <laughs> accurately like she does. Yeah, yeah. And Lily, uh, Lily's going to be playing soccer at Tufts next year. So uh, it's going to be great to see her do that. I think she. Uh, I've heard she also wants to try to walk on for the basketball team at Tufts. Uh, she's such a good basketball player. I could definitely see her playing both sports in college. So Milford with the throw in. McKenzie steps up. Mackenzie Cusack. Milford tries to clear it over. Kayla Malka steals the ball, throws it down to McKenzie. Fra uh, Shane Abbott on the break. Looking for someone up front. Tries to save it and almost, but out through the end line. Good effort there by Shane Abbott, though. It was a lot nicer than the last time we were out here, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Joe. We were getting <laughs> rained on. It was, oh, it was brutal. And we were actually covered, too. But yeah. we still got the rain was coming sideways. It was us and the uh, Walpole players' bags. Yeah. Staying dry, that was it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that was a brutal night. So Mackenzie Frazier taking it down to the, the right-hand side. Out of bounds. I know that uh, you know, the last time that we played Milford in Milford, uh, we did win one to nothing back on September 25th. So Milford will definitely try to get some revenge here. Uh, but Kayla Malico driving through the middle, tries to take a shot, blocked by the defense. So, yeah, so Milford definitely wants the revenge factor here, but Foxborough's like, not, not on our watch here on senior night. So I think they'll have a little extra in this step tonight. Garrow with the throw in over to, uh, what was that, Lily. Cross over to the middle. Is Lily right in the middle there, controlling the ball. Takes a shot low and rolls past the left-hand side of the net. Hey, you never know. You take some long shots and it might, might free you up for a pass inside next time. So Absolutely. I'm sure Milford knows all about Lily. I think she's the fourth leading <laughs> scorer in the Hockamock League. Uh, you know, she's got ten goals, uh, two more in uh, – I was told two more goals and she'll have 50 for her career. So it would be nice to see her get the 50th on senior night. I'm that would be great. That's I'm hoping a, for it. That's a great milestone. That's awesome. You know, it, it's great to see. Oh, oh, big kick. Looks like Shana got hit right in the hand. That one hurt. It's great to see huh? those type of milestones. I know in the basketball season this past year, Ashley Sampson got her 1,000th point on a three-pointer in, in the <laughs> in garden. In the garden. That was great. Yeah, yeah. That, that's just that's a memory for a lifetime right there. So, but you know, the thing about Lily, too, is, you know, she, I don't think she cares if she gets it. She wants to win. Yeah, that's whether she scores or everyone else on the team scores. All she wants to do is win. Yeah, I mean, she's been a, a you know, not, not the number one person, but a star on this team for, for four years. So, yeah. um, you know, just for that in itself, you really deserve something like that. Absolutely. So, good defense by Foxborough. Milford clears it out of bounds. And Mackenzie Frazier with, takes it down the left side, Shana Abbott. And Mackenzie goes right around the defender. She's going down the left-hand side. Could be a good, good opportunity. Good shot, just wide of the net. Tried to, tried to go uh, near side there. Good idea by Mackenzie. That was a shot that might have fooled everybody on the other sideline. You see the net move. Yeah, yeah. Some of the kids get a little excited. Even the parents, yeah. 
Looks like we got a pretty good crowd tonight, though, for senior now, which is good. Looks like a couple of students. I don't know if that's the JV team over there, but uh, we got the balloons decorated over on the fence. Looks like a lot of people over there. It's kind of tough to see in the dark, but looks like yeah. some good representation. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of families over here, and the you know the girls stayed after the JV game that was just played. I don't remember the final was seven nothing. Foxborough won seven nothing. Yeah, um, and oh. I think a lot of the boys are over there too. Good shot by Lily right there, Shana Abbott, and Shana with the goal on senior night. Number four with the goal. It was a beautiful pass by Lily Sykes right up the middle for the assist. You know, I think the goalie didn't know on that one. Should I come out? Should I not? I think she came out a little too late, and Shana pounced on that on that pass for a beautiful goal. Yeah, it took the quick shot before she got too close to the goalie. Didn't uh, nope. try to go around her. Just going to play it real quick and definitely have the advantage. So here's the replay. Lily throws the ball up front. There goes Shana right through the 10-yard line. Goalie comes out, and Shana, like you said, Joe, didn't want to do too much with it, didn't try to kill it, just kind of tap it right in. Beautiful goal by Shana. Alex Tomatos with a good play in defense. Number six for uh, uh, Milford, Juliana France, dribbling with the ball. Number 20 with the ball now, uh, Annie Flanagan. So Shanna taking a run again. At Milford getting back on defense, get McKenzie trailing the play in the middle. And defense steps up nicely, but there's Lily. That was close. We almost got a handball in the box there, but I think it was I think it was a good call. It just bounced up and hit somebody in the arm, but that would have been nice. I think under the old rules it would have been a quick PK. Yep. And maybe we get Lily 49. There you go. Yeah, I would imagine that anytime there's a PK we're gonna be for Lily in there, so yeah. that would make sense. Yarrow with a nice throw in over to Mackenzie Frazier who kicks it back. Alex Tamala steps up. Milford, uh, Milford Midi goes down. I think it's number 12, uh, number 10. Uh, Leanne uh, Kibbe. So Foxborough's ball. Lily, uh, Lily taking the kick at the 43 yard line. Yeah, I think she can get it through the uprights too. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't, surprise, surprise. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise either one of us. And there it goes, right out to the middle. Great shot by Lily. Probably about five yards outside. Number 22 coming in from Milford now. Olivia Sullivan, uh, junior forward. Coming up for Milford, number 17, uh, Hannah Martin. Another junior forward, obviously. So we had about 12 minutes, uh, 12 minutes down. Foxborough's leading one nothing. Lily steps up on the uh, on the direct kick there. So Lily, magic with the feet. McKenzie steps up on that one. Shana tries to head it over to uh, Mackenzie Frazier. <laughs> so the throw in, Lily Sykes heads it back in. Well, kind of an odd, odd kick there from the defender. Yeah. Came all the way back to the goalie. <laughs> that was strange. So goalie with a decent kick there, out to about the 45 yard line. Kendra trying to control it. Alex Tomatos comes over, a nice lefty. Just back and forth here. Yara Fawaz with a, a deep throw down, a deep kick. Mackenzie Frazier goes up. I think they're gonna get her. A little push off. Uh, number 13, uh, Captain Rachel LeBlanc. Uh, in that collision with Mackenzie Frazier. So here's a quick replay of the ball coming in. The ball bounces up. Mackenzie really going for it, and then just a little bit of a collision there. A walk in the park right there. No and problem. It, Routine play. Yeah. Not intentional, just you know, two athletes going for the ball. Yeah. Fouls happen. That's why the <laughs> referee's out there. <laughs> now Lily Sykes with a beautiful pass down. Caitlin Mollica with her speed. Should be able to get, get catch up to when she does. Makes a nice move to the left-hand side. Goes back to Yara Fawaz. 
and Milford defense does a nice job of coming up. Looks like the ball will roll out of bounds, though. So Alex Demontis with the throw in. Great throw in. And Caitlin heads it down. Coming our way, Joe. I was ready. I've been practicing yeah. since the last one. I was going to say, game, they know though. you've got good hands over here. So, <laughs> so Kendra Wentley trying to step up there. Lily as well. So there's Liv D'Antona. Gets it back to uh, Emma Dahl. So we get a sub coming in from Milford, number seven, uh, Christina uh, <coughs> Chiarelli. Uh, subbing in for, looks like number 11, Sienna Pierce. So Lily with a nice left-handed, uh, left-handed, left-footed uh, kick down. Shana Abbott trying to collect it down on the right-hand side. Looks like it rolled out. It's going to be Milford's, uh, Milford's kick. We've got about 25 minutes left in the first half. And Lily uses her forehead on that one. Right out in front there. Kayla Mollick is trying to collect it. She does. Oh, and she gets taken down, but uh, just in the routine play. Yarrow with a nice uh, toe drag off, off, off of Milford. Yarrow throws it into uh, Shana Abbott, trying to get out in front. It seems like once we got the ball down here, we've done a pretty good job keeping it here yeah. after the first. Lily with a big shot. That's a goal! 49! What a beautiful shot by Lily Sykes. I think you meant to say that was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. That one almost brought some rain down. Not a cloud in the sky either. That was a beautiful shot by Lily. You could see it. As soon as she got it, she was thinking goal. Another beautiful shot by Lily Sykes. Oh, we got a timeout. Timeout, Milford. So here we go in the replay. So Lily dribbling out right around the 30-yard line and just unleashes that cannon. Look at that thing go into the night. Right over the goalie does a good job trying to get up there, but just perfectly placed. That's how you score from 40 yards out yeah. right there. That is, that's how you do it. Top shelf right there. She'd be a good bartender. Going top shelf. So, yeah, so this is, it's, you know, get 24, about 24 minutes left. Joe Milford takes a timeout. I think that's probably a, a good play. It's scores 2 nothing. He just wants to make sure it doesn't get away from him. Yeah, I've always thought high school soccer timeouts were weird, but if you got them, this is a great yeah, time yeah. to use one. This is really what you have them for. You just try to they, – because they played well out of the gate the first five minutes. Milford looked pretty good. Yeah. Had the ball down in the in the Foxborough end, and then um, really since then, Foxborough's turned it around the other way. So Yeah. Yeah, so I know Milford uh, – Milford's coming off a 3 nothing loss uh, to Canton. Uh, they played on October 16th. I know Canton's our next opponent. will be traveling to Canton, and that'll be interesting because Canton's ahead of us in the standings. Um, you know, the seven, four, and two within the uh, within the Davenport versus our eight and five, uh, both have 16 points. So it'll be an interesting point. I don't know who Canton is playing uh, tonight, uh, but you know that could be a pretty good matchup next week. Yeah, and the teams have been pretty even this uh, this season too. I know a lot. Nobody's really been winning consistently. It seems like all the the teams take turns beating each other, especially the top four. Yep. Yeah, North North is strong. They get a lot of uh, upperclassmen. Uh, you know, they, they get they're nine one and three in the Davenport. Uh, da Davenport nine two and three overall, you know, with uh, twenty one points. So that might be tough to catch them. Um, I know we've got with this game, we've got three games left. If we win all three, you get the six points. You're up at twenty two points. North would basically just have to tie uh, or get one win in their last four, depending on what we do and what Canton does. Yeah, we'll definitely need a little help for them. But yeah. they, you're right. They are a uh, they are an experienced, talented team. So. Um, yeah, okay. We'll see how we do against us next Thursday, right? So we, I, today, yeah. I think we play the yes. last game. Yep, that's our last game in North Attleboro. That's correct. You know, but I think they do have a lot of upperclassmen. So I know, you know 
we've got the four seniors, obviously, there will be big losses this year when the four of them leave. But they get such a young team. You know, we got a few juniors. You get like five sophomores, five freshmen. You know, got a good JV team below. So uh, it'll be tough replacing the four seniors, that's for sure. Uh, you know, especially how, how Lily does so well. But, you know, your daughter McKenzie is one of the more solid defensive players I've seen in the, in the midi in the, in the Davenport. She does such a great job of, you know, keeping, keeping the defenders in front of her uh, and, and playing that solid defense. Olivia's great midi, you know, Shane is a great forward. So it, it's, it'll, it'll, it'll definitely be tough to, to lose those four next year. Yeah, hopefully, um, you know, honestly, if you go back two months, I mean, it, with the amount of turnover we had after last year, losing so many kids, it, uh, um, you know, I think everybody would have been really excited to even get a, you know, to get in the playoffs. Yeah. You know, it was just so much turnover, and, um, you know, it's really been, you know, they, they, Coach Stalkup does sub, a, you know, a decent amount and, and, you know, lets everybody play. So there's really a lot of kids contributing on this team. So yeah. it definitely helped for the, uh, for the future of the program to have that kind of, you know, that kind of opportunity to play as opposed to just, you um, you know, sticking with 11 or 12 kids and, right. and then hoping for the best next year, so. Oh, absolutely, yeah, you're right. I mean, we had 11 seniors last year. I mean, half, you know, that's that's a, that's a whole starting team. Uh, and, you know, we lost some some key players last year, that's for sure, but you're right. They, you know, in the beginning of the year, it was it was difficult. You had some of the some of the better teams. You had to play KP, you had to play Manfield, who were both, you know, leading the, uh, the Kelly Rex in the Davenport, and then you had that that heartbreaker of a game in Franklin, which was a well-played game by both teams. Just, you know, one 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 bad, uh, you know, one unlucky bounce, and, you know, yeah, Franklin and pulled a, away a with great, a victory. a great shot, and it's, you know, sometimes those things happen, and, um, yeah, that one kind of hurt, though. Yeah. Even just standing there watching yeah. it kind of hurt, so I'm sure that was uh, that was tough on the girls. But right after that, though, that was really, you they know, really, what were they, that made them 0-3, I think. Yep, and, and then that they was, won five in a row, I yeah, think. Yeah, that was, that was really their chance to either, um, kind of turtle and yep. just lose or, or really to fight back. So, yep. um, you know, they've done an unbelievable job since then with, with everything they've done. Yeah, so now Lily just got taken down to at the 25-yard line. Well, she scored from 30. So <clears throat> it's like a chippy. Yeah, you know, this 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 could be uh, this could be number 50 in the air. So October 19th, 2017 at the San Burns Community Field, you could be seeing history is a, is a replay. Lily just gets absolutely taken down from behind. Lily with a beautiful shot and oh, oh just wide. Just just wide. Uh, number four coming in from Milford, uh, uh, Cassie Probert, who's a junior. Uh, coming out number six, uh, Juliana France. Looks like we're getting a couple of subs here for uh, Foxborough. So it's, uh, you know, we got uh, Jordan, and we got Jordan coming in. Um, I always forget Jordan's last name. Collins. But Jordan you, Collins, Jordan Collins. And, uh, Grace Ferguson. Grace Ferguson. Thank you, Joe. I should know that by now. You know, <laughs> I, should, I should know. Yeah, Jordan's got a lot of speed, too, which is great, you know, up in the front there. It's a pretty good blend of, you know, kind of tough, tough in the back to keep people out of the net and skilled in the middle and then super fast up front. Yeah. So. Yeah, so I think on the season, I think Jordan has four goals. I know Grace has uh, Grace has one. Oh, that looked uh, that, that didn't look like it was out, but I, I don't like to disagree with the refs, but I disagree. Yeah, with the yeah. Ref on that one. <laughs> I always like disagreeing <laughs> with the refs. That's what I'm known for in town. I'm surprised that they even talk to me when they see me. Any of them? It's a tough job. I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't. I give them all the credit in the world. They take a lot of abuse when they shouldn't, and. It's just it's tough, especially in a sport like this where you got to run up and down. Yeah, these girls, like I, like I said, they're fast and these girls don't let up. And it's just for you know for those guys, it's just a track meet the whole time. They're yeah. just up and down. Oh, oh Shannon Abbott goes. The goalie came, tried to come out. Looks like Shannon tried down. to jump over her and caught her on the way by. Yeah, that one. That one was tough. Yeah. It's got to be when you're reaching for the ball with one foot and trying to jump with the other one. It's not, uh, yeah. you're not going to get up that high. She, she's up and she's she, she definitely hurt her a little bit. Hopefully the referee will just go talk to her for a little while. Yeah. Calm her down. I think that's Olivia Marshall, the goalie. Yeah, give her. So here's a replay on the collision. So you can see Shana running down the right-hand side and then the goalie comes out. Shana tries to jump up and just 
girl put her legs up and chain the tripped over, hit it right on the. Right yeah, on the she was, actually I was wrong. She wasn't even reaching for the ball. <laughs> she tried, just couldn't get up over. She just, you know, that's one of those ones. I think both players are probably thinking like, oh, what do I do? Shana's like, I got to jump, but I don't know what the goal yeah, is. Yeah, you don't know do. when to time it. Caitlin with a nice move. Takes the shot and it's a little just wide, wider than that. So the subs coming in. So Jordan and Grace. You get McKenzie and Shana coming out. So we got 18 minutes left in the first half. Foxborough is up two nothing. You know, for the most part, I think Foxborough has carried the play. Like you said, the first five minutes, Milford was kind of taking it down the field a little bit. But uh, since that point in time, you know, Foxborough has really been controlling the play. Yeah, we definitely turned it around. It uh, wouldn't surprise me if they came back down at, at some point. But right now, it's uh, got to hope to get as many as much as we can while we're making a good run here. Absolutely. So Foxborough's ball with the throw in. There was Emma Dahl over there with a the throw in. The Lily's just the Lily's just hanging. She's waiting. She's waiting for that ball. So it's like Milford's ball. Milford does with the sub. Uh, number six. Uh, Juliana France back in for the Milford uh, Lady Hawks. Looks like we got a, another sub coming in at number 14. Not yet, though. Julia Oliveira. Uh, Ashley Stocks coming out from Milford. Yeah, we got to do something about that horn. That's a that's a that's a sad sounding horn. The other day I was out here, it was doing pretty was it good. good. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't know what happened maybe to it, but the, uh, it doesn't like the cold air. Maybe you got a family of squirrels living in it or something. <laughs> Beautiful field, though. You know, very, very, very nice. The turf, uh, you know, the scoreboard's a nice scoreboard. They do a good job here at the San Burns Community Field. So Milford trying to make a run up here, right in the middle. Tries to cross it over to the right-hand side, right by Yara. But Alex Tomatos comes over from the left-hand side, kicks it out of bounds, get, gets it out of harm's way. But this is the first time down uh, inside the 30, probably in, I'd say, maybe 10 minutes or so. Kendra controls it. Milford just kicks it, uh, crosses over the end line. Number 17, uh, Hannah Martin coming in. And as a junior forward, coming in for number 22, uh, Olivia Sullivan. So Jamie with the goalie kick. Out to about the 35. All the girls headbutting him around. Kendra trying to clear it out. Nice kick by Kendra over Kayla Mollica. Yeah, it really is tough to go the other way on this field. This is, I don't think I've ever seen a soccer field this size. It's absolutely enormous. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's almost 120 yards long, and you know you can make a nice play and fight back 60 yards, and you're still at midfield. So yeah. It's, um, might explain why uh, why it's been in waves where they had it down the end and we have it down the other end and it's, it's just so tough to get it all the way back down. Yeah. It just seems like Don, when, when, when Milford gets the ball down in Foxborough's uh, zone, it just seems like we have two girls on, on the Milford uh, attacker. It just, it's just really good defense so far. Everybody stepping up, doing their job, as Belichick says. Yep. Nice kick by McKenzie Cusack to get it down there. Sometimes you just need that long roll to get you 20 yards and, you know, better off having it down there. Yeah. So throwing from Milford. Signals. Yara, nice playing defense, clears the ball. 
We get about uh, just under 14 minutes left in the first half. Looks like uh, Bill Piscatelli almost got hit with a soccer ball. One of the cameramen. I know uh, Mike McCabe is up ahead of us, and right behind us, up in the top. So luckily, it's not windy or raining on him. So Jamie with a, a hopefully a big kick here into the night sky. I think we definitely had a different camera crew the last time. Yes. I think they've retired from <laughs> running cameras. After that rainy, windy <laughs> night, they're like, no way, I've done my time. But, you know, it, it's important. we got to get volunteers to do that. Um, you know, I know the Booster Club is always looking for volunteers, whether it's you're doing the camera work or, you know, Joe, you're volunteering and I'm volunteering here doing the uh, doing the announcing, which we both enjoy doing. And, um, you know, but the camera, the, the concessions when we have them, uh, it, it's important that all the parents get involved to, to you know, Keep the keep the program going. It, it's uh, I think it's 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 vital. Absolutely, I, I couldn't agree with you more. The kids might not realize what it is, but someday they'll grow up and have yeah. their own kids and be on a boosters program and realize how important it is. So yeah, yeah. No, you know it's funny you say that because I know my mom. She was like the president of the boosters club and uh, where I grew up. And you know you just see all the people like at the football games just working the grill and collecting tickets and. You know, they do it because they want to support the team. They want to support the, 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 their kids. Uh, I just think I think it's great. I, I love I love supporting the teams. You know, I love watching the kids play. Even after my kids are gone, I'll probably still try to, you know, help out as best I can. A couple of, couple of balls. Oh, almost in front. A couple of head balls there. Kendra almost scored on that one. Yara keeping it in. Milford just clears it out. Yeah, well, we, we have every player right now inside the 40-yard line on offense. So <laughs> definitely when we get the ball down there, at least they're feeling confident. We'll see what, uh, yep. see how it goes. But got to be careful. You don't want to give, give away a long, no. a long run if something gets behind them. Jamie's even out around. Uh, she has, she's only like the 10-15. It's not too bad. So Milford's subbing in. Yeah, he's liberal with the subs. He's really been subbing the girls. I think we've had, what, Jordan and, and Grace, right, the two? Yeah, and they went in together, so yeah. it's really just you know, two subs at once. This is uh, <laughs> Some coaches do this, though. It's uh, you know, we've, we've, had some, we've had some guys in the, the youth leagues that like to go one at a time. They go, they'll go every 30 seconds if you let them. So. Yeah. Yeah, I usually get frustrated at the end of a game when they've got a lead and they right. sub it in yeah. and every two minutes. I. I get the strategy, but it just it's when you're on the losing end of that, it's just like, just let them play. Yeah, it's hard. You can't control it, so it's, it's tough. But, you know, it, and, it's, and it is. It's one of those things you totally understand why they're doing it. I, just don't, like, I don't even like it when, when we do it. Even when, right. we, even when we get the win, you know, it's like, good, we get the win. You did the right thing. But I just yeah. hate it. Yeah, I want to see them play. Yeah, this is obviously, I think the coach just sees something that you know, he's trying to change one piece at a time, and it's... You know, he'll find he'll find the eleven that he wants in there and well, that's good more pressure from us. Yeah, yeah, moving moving down. Almost took out another cameraman. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see who that is. I, I can't see who that is. My eyesight's not as good as it used to be. Well, we're up there in the third deck of the press box, you know, so it's hard <laughs> to see all the way down <laughs> the field like that. Kayla Malka down the left-hand side makes a nice move. Good, good defense there. Trying to get the call. Uh, saying, they're saying that Caitlin touched it. I don't know, but I don't know. They get that call. I can't question him twice in one game, can I? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You can question him as much as you as you like. We get the video replay too, so we can even even if we're wrong, we can still say that we're right. <laughs> There's Lily trying to get in there, trying to steal that ball, and she does. Yeah. 
So Milford trying to you know, make a run here, but Yarafua steps up. Uh, Kendra steps up as well, Kendra Wentling. Jordan tries, falls, falls down, but gets right back up. Still battling for that ball. So Milford bringing it back on defense, Lily trying to attack. Kendra does a good job, steps up on it. Lily makes a nice move over to the right-hand side, shoots one out in front, but a good job by the defender, heads it out of there. Foxborough relentless, though, with the attack. Milford trying to go back with it to, to get, get the, the pass out front. Oh, and gets tripped. Grace Ferguson gets tripped on that play. Let's see now, it's at the 40-yard line. Lily could hit it from here if she wanted to. That's a little far for her range, but it, I'm looking at the flag. There's a little bit of a breeze behind her, so. Yeah, it's about 10 yards longer than the last one. I don't, yeah. I don't know. So, big kick by Lily. It's on net, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's it was 40 yards. And that's with a bad hamstring, too. So Grace with the, with the save. Kendra Wentley tries to step up, gets knocked down for her effort. Milford make, trying to make a run down the left-hand side, but Mackenzie Cusack solid as usual. Right down, right down the left-hand side, and Emma Dahl steps up. So Milford trying to make a run out in front. We get seven minutes left in the first half. from the uh, athletic director, Rich Carmier, and uh, Sean McGuire from the Foxborough Reporter uh, that Canton beat Sharon today 4-2. Oh, okay. All right, so, that, so that'll put Canton at 8-4-2. and two. So uh, <coughs> Foxborough really needs this one. <coughs> Fox will need to win to stay tied with Canton for, yep. uh, for a second. Still yep. can't control North Attleboro, but. No, no, that's true. Look at that, Joe's got, Joe's got uh, spies. He's got, you know, feet on the ground here. <laughs> It's beautiful. Live, live time. If we were going live, you'd have, you'd have live updates here. <laughs> this is fantastic. Wind picking up a little bit here, right for Milford with a corner kick. It sounds like a hurricane <laughs> right now, my headset. <laughs> beautiful kick right into the middle, and Milford tries for the head, but the headbutt. Should go all the way through for our ball. I think so. Yeah, Madeline Boyle with the kick, sophomore. Uh, Lily Sykes gets the throw in, throws it down to Jordan Collins. Jordan makes a nice move out in front. Here goes Caitlin Monica off the, off the race. Oh, the de defense gets back. I didn't think that. Jordan with a nice shot and there a goal. Go. Jordan with an unbelievable effort there. Now she never gave up on that one. Got on the right hand side. Ran right down the right hand side with that speed. It's tough. She, she's so fast. So here comes the replay. There's Jordan. You can see it. They've got three Milford girls coming back. You got Caitlin Mollica going out in front there too as well. And then Jordan went right around on the right hand side and just shoots one. Goalie tries. What a and great shot. Beautiful shot. <coughs> Far side post. Placed it just perfectly. So Milford, uh, another one down for Jordan on the left hand side. Oh. Big kick, Jordan got taken down again. Ball went, it uh, uh, looks like Jordan, Jordan brushing herself off. Hopefully she's okay. Ball went over the fence. So I think, uh, I think Milford's, so here's a, here's a replay. Here's Jordan coming down the, the left-hand side. And just the feet got tangled yeah. up. That's just a good play by both of them. Yeah. Good hard play, yeah. So we get uh, we get Lily again, I think. Yep. From the uh, from the side here, 20, 20 yard line angled. If I'm thinking Lily's going to clear post, far post, and in number fifty for Lily Sykes. That's fifty on the career for Lily. 
Beautiful to see her win it here. The defender almost tried to get that out, tried to kick it, but it was a beautiful shot by Lily. And it was probably gonna go in anyway, it just went right, out, right yep. inside the post anyway. A great shot. Yeah, that one was going in regardless of. So here's a replay. Lily lines it up right on the 20. Beautiful shot to that far post. And the girl just kicks it in. The yeah, defender had to try to do that, but it was because yeah. it was going in anyway. So it was on the replay. You, you, it, it, it looked like on the replay it was going, it was going wide right. But I can tell you, Joe's right. You know that that ball was was going in from the angle we were at right here. It was going in regardless of whether or not she kicked it in. Just for the TV audience, it might have looked like it, it was going to go wide, but it was definitely going in. I just want to remind everybody you called that about 25 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Nostradamus, you know. <laughs> I, occasionally, I get a couple of them right. And not, not too hard with Lily, though. I'm thinking she's going to score two goals on senior <laughs> night, you know. I don't have a hat today. If she gets a third one, I get nothing to throw. I'll have to go buy a hat from the, uh, from the boys' <laughs> boosters from last year. So we get three minutes uh, three minutes left in the half. Uh, Foxborough with a big 4 nothing lead right now. Oh, Lily just got just got push from yeah, the, asked, her to, asked her to sit down at midfield for a second. <laughs> that was a nice how do you do right there. Was elbow to the back. <laughs> so Yara clears it down. Kayla Malka running for it. Uh, number eight on defense. Uh, Madeline Boyle does a good job. Protecting the ball, blocking it. Yeah, she did great getting it out of there and then yeah. just ran into two two Foxborough players. So Grace Grace Ferguson and uh, and Caitlin Malika fighting for the ball. Uh, Milf Milford's ball. So it, we got a sub coming in. Uh, Lizzie Davis coming in. Oh, I'm sorry, Shana Shana Abbott coming in back into the game. Oh, uh, there's, there's a shove on, li uh, on Lily. And take a seat, as you said, Joe, right? <laughs> just take a seat. So, yeah, so Shana Abbott back in for Foxborough. Just under two minutes left. <laughs> Milford, deep ball down, but we got three defenders back. And no one from Milford. Wind picking up again. <laughs> uh, they got Emma Dahl. Uh, actually, I thought they called it Emma Dahl. The ball's out of bounds. So Foxborough, Foxborough ball, probably about a minute left in the half. Yeah, we get the uh, time on the field with the refs once it hits two minutes. So it looks like the clock's not going, but the ref has the time on the field. I learned that this year. I didn't know that. <laughs> so I'm learning things, too. Gotta, gotta give us something else to yell at the refs about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I did, I was yelling. <laughs> Stop the clock. And once again, I was wrong. So anyway. <laughs> not the first time, not, won't be the last. So Alex with a big throw. Looks like Fox will ball again off on Milford. Yarrow with the throw in. Probably have about, I don't know, 30 seconds left, I'd say. Out on Milford, Foxborough ball. Might down down in the zone. Might be able to get one last shot in here. Yeah. Right before half. Oh, it's coming coming our way. Yep. Alex measuring it. Nice nice shot with the head. Alex won't even let us get the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Milford trying to make one last one last run here before the half ends. But Grace Ferguson, nice job. Oh, a little collision right there. And that is the half. So, at halftime, uh, it's been a pretty pretty good game for Foxborough so far. They've really controlled the uh, the play for the most part. Uh, four goals, we got Lily with two, Shannon with one, Jordan uh, with one. Strong defense, Joe. Really, I think there's only been one or two shots on Jamie. Yep, uh, in this yeah, first half. Recall, yeah. Uh, Jamie did. I know. I remember Jamie made a nice shot, a nice, a nice save. Uh, but you know, it, it's you know, Foxborough's doing a real good job here. Uh, continue to carry the play against Milford. Uh, Milford's giving it their best. Obviously, they're trying. They're trying hard. Um, but you know, Lily hits 
you know, these two two deep shots. Yeah, it's, 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 those are tough, tough to stop, you know. Um, but there, you know, Milford, Milford's definitely going to keep coming. They, uh, you know, when we were talking about how much they sub before, they're going to be fresh. They seem to use. It, it's not the same two or three kids all the time, so they're using most of their bench. So they're going to be, you know, it, it's not like it's going to get any easier for for Foxborough. So right, right. Um, I'd say this, this should still be good, but if we can keep keep control of the ball in the midfield, really keeping it from getting behind them, to even the defense now, um, you know, it'll be good. We can just keep the ball up in the front half of the field. Yep, yep. So, like I said, halftime, it's a 4 nothing lead for Foxborough. Hopefully we'll continue to keep up the intensity in the second half. And, uh, you know, we'll be back with uh, second half action uh, shortly. Quick little halftime, but both teams seemed uh, content to get back at it. So Yeah, absolutely. Uh, switching sides now, so we're going uh, left to right on your on your camera view. Kendra Wentling with a big shot. Good for three points because it went through the uprights. 6 nothing. Good shot Seven by Kendra. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm losing track. Seven nothing. Yeah, so like I said, watching watching on TV, uh, Foxborough will be going left to left to right, uh, wearing their home whites, uh, the shirts at least, shorts of blue. Lily Sykes goes up big, big time to get that ball. Shane over to Caitlin Monica, Mackenzie Frazier looking looking for uh, looking for the ball down the left hand side. Yara steps up. Off of Milford. Oh, no, actually set off of uh, Foxborough. I didn't see it that way, but I'm I'm at a distance here. Yeah, we're about eight miles away. <laughs> so I guess, I guess to be fair. <laughs> so, again, those, to start the second half, Foxborough's already bringing the ball into the Milford zone. Uh, you know, being very aggressive. Yeah, we just, Foxborough just came out flying right now. Yeah. Yeah, Kendra does a good job, gets it back to, uh, looks like Emma Dahl. And over to Olivia D'Antona. Milford very quickly just ran through like three tackles there though, so it's not. Uh... Yeah. Oh. Oh. Emma Dahl. That, okay. Yeah, a little, little collision there on the <laughs> side there, but uh, ref, ref says no blood, no foul, I guess, on that one. And it ended up as Fox Row Ball. Yeah. 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 So Olivier, oh, oh, play on, play on, play on. oh, he's playing the advantage because we had the ball. Oh, Lily st steals the ball, trying to dribble around. Makes a nice safe play back to Alex, who kicks it to midfield. Mackenzie Frazier kind of kicks it to the left hand side. Kayla Malka giving a chase, but rolls out of bounds. So Milford with a nice throw. Caitlin though fights for that ball. Caitlin Monica over to Shane Abbott in the, right in the middle. Trying to clear it down into the Foxborough zone. Number 10, uh, you know, Leanne Kibbe. I've been I've been I've been watching that. You know, Leanne is is you know they're they're forward up there, and she's been hanging there waiting. I think she's waiting for that ball just to get that one pass and try to explode if through I'm, the defenders. If I'm not mistaken, she's a track kid for them, so she's uh, <laughs> definitely got some speed. That's speed. That was a good cross, but Mackenzie Cusack with the header to get it out of uh, danger's way. Shayna Abbott aggressively going after the ball. Milford kicks it. Into the Foxborough zone, out of bounds. Emma Dahl with the throw in. Alex Tomatos fighting for the ball. Milford down in the left hand corner. Alex fighting the fighting for that ball. Oh, it still stays in. I don't know how that's in. Oh, oh, that's a uh, Alex took her out on that one. So there's a replay on the defense here. So you get Alex there, and then Mackenzie Cusack with the header, and then gets the ball out. Nice play by by your daughter Mackenzie there to get that out of harm's way. I'd like to say she learned that from me, but yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> <coughs> Milford with a big big kick in. That's a tough off, shot. Off the crossbar. Jamie knew it was hitting the crossbar the whole way. Oh, I could you could see the confidence <laughs> that she knew it. She knew it. He's like, I'm not even going to go for this one because it's hitting the crossbar and going out of bounds. Oh 
So Jamie with the kick. And McKenzie Cusack clears the ball out over to Mackenzie Frazier. Double kick. Joel's and juggled a couple <laughs> times there. <laughs> and out of bounds from on Milford. Yarrow with the throw in. Uh, got McKenzie on the push. Okay, McKenzie moved somebody out of the way there. Yep. I got to go by what uh, Rich Cormier says. Uh, call it Kenzie as opposed to McKenzie. So your daughter's <laughs> McKenzie. Frazier's Kenzie. That's the way I got to remember it. All right. I know I won't do that, but that's you know, <laughs> so you can correct me. It'll Lily, be, it'll be easier next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Milford trying to make a run. Emma Dahl with a nice play. Olivia D'Antona. Nice give and go oh, yeah. here. All right, Emma with a good throw into Lily Sykes. Oh, Lily with a nice play. Kicks it up with a little spin on it. Oh. A little shin collision there. Yeah, I think the two of them both kind of just enough of each other. Shane Abbott trying to change field position. Kicks it over the left-hand side. There's uh, Kendra Wentland with a nice pass over to Caitlin Mollica. Going down the left-hand side. Caitlin with a nice move. Another nice move out in front. And unleashes one. Just a, just a bit wide. Right out of bounds. So here's a play, a replay of Caitlin Mollica with a nice move there. Beautiful kick, trying to go top shelf, far side, just a bit wide. Good play, though, by Caitlin. So Milford trying to get the ball out, but Foxborough still being very aggressive on getting to that ball. Foxborough ball. Oh. I missed one. <laughs> Good give and go, but just a little too hard. Yeah, our outside defender, Emma, Emma Dahl and uh, Yara Falaz are really pinching up right now, so it's really keeping the ball up the field and then in the middle of the field, too. So yep. it's really, Milford looks like they want to go down the side, but they, there's just no room down here. Yeah, so I know it's a little bit early, but I know Milford's next game is going to be a home game on Saturday. Uh, this Saturday versus Hopedale. It's going to be a 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. game, so they're going to have another night game uh, going on. Uh, after the Hopedale game, Milford's at North Attleboro, and then they're playing home versus Sharon. So they get a, it looks like they get a tough schedule uh, the last the, the last three games. Looks like Kendra Wentling lost a shoe in that last play. <laughs> Still putting it back on. So fast running out of her shoes. funny. I know Milford Hopedale has a combined youth program. They play together just as one organization, so then they get to high school and yeah. split them in half, and they all get to go play against each other. Yeah, it is interesting. Because I think I think even if – because I've got some friends in Mil uh, Milford. I thought that someone lived in Hopedale, but I thought they could play in Milford. You know, sometimes they can – depending on the sport, they can sometimes play right. in Milford. So it's interesting how they do that. Number 22 coming in for uh, Milford, Olivia Sullivan. Good shot of Jamie here. Good kick. Nice save by the cameraman. <laughs> so Emma with the throw in over to uh, Kendra. <laughs> Lily with a good save. Kicks out in front. Mackenzie Fisher. Oh! oh I don't think she saw her at all. No, I don't think so either. That girl was up in up in the air, and Kenzie was yeah. looking back at the ball. Yeah, I think she just didn't see her. But Milford with the kick. Opportunity here, number 17. Oh, Jamie nice Devellis comes out, makes a nice play. Yeah, number 17, Hannah Martin was in there. Uh, she, she was looking, she was looking to score there. So Caitlin Mollica with a nice play over to Olivia D'Antona. Olivia crosses. Trying to look for Mackenzie Frazier there. Shane Abbott just got tangled up. Milford defenders looking for a call there. 
number 13, uh, Rachel LeBlanc, captain. Yeah, so. and she's unfortunately been on the, <laughs> the other end of three collisions in a row. So. Yep. Uh, I'm sure she should probably get Shayna's number now, so yeah. she'll be looking for her. <laughs> Well, again, going for the hat trick. And just wide. Good shot, though, by Lily. She makes that nice little toe drag move, brings it to her strong foot, and just usually unleashes that cannon. So just under a half hour, we get 30 minutes left in the game, so 10 minutes into the, into the second half. Foxrow has yet to score the second half, still 4-0. Uh, but they have been carrying the play. Milford's been down in the Foxborough area a little bit more uh, to start, you know, this second half. Uh, same red kick, so I think uh, I think Lily got too much of the body there. Kendra trying to make the save coming our way, out of bounds. Nice, nice move by number six. Really nice move. Juliana France. So it looks like uh, going to be goalie, goalie kick. But Jamie definitely sticks out with that, that neon green. That's a nice color. Good for her complexion. That's the way. I mean. <laughs> Good kick by uh, Jamie there. Mackenzie Frias, a nice, nice job body in that one. Uh, just, just rolled out of bounds. But Mackenzie does a good job using her body as a shield. Uh, we get uh, Jordan Collins and uh, Katie Huther coming in uh, shortly. <laughs> Jamie Tavellas comes out, makes the save, rolls one out to Kayla Malika. Milford get, regains possession of the ball, throws it down into the right-hand corner. Alex Tomatos in number 17, Hannah Martin. They've been battling tonight. Yeah, they're swarming right now. They got a lot of kids up. Looks like they got a lot playing up front, so they're uh, <clears throat> trying to put the pressure on with numbers, I guess. If you can at least have one extra person, and it'll cut somebody open. Yep. So uh, Mackenzie, uh, see, I did it. Kenzie Frazier and uh, <laughs> and uh, Olivia D'Antona out. Uh, Jordan and uh, Katie in. Yeah, Jordan Collins and Katie Huther. And we got the geese coming overhead. <laughs> Got to be careful. Looking heads up here. I don't have a hat. You know, we're going to be in trouble here. Hopefully they haven't been eating a lot of the grass. So Alex Tomatos with a nice kick to clear it out. Oh, Shana, a little, little bit of a clearing it. It goes Jordan Collins over there to the right-hand side. She picks up some speed. She can get on the outside here. Oh, good defense. Middle defender came over. Oh, yeah, hands up saying I didn't do anything yeah. after she completely knocked <laughs> her over. That's what you do, though. You know, you put the, you, you, that's what you do. You try to get the call. Hey, it wasn't, it wasn't trying to, so here's a replay. Here's a throw in. I predict this will be a collision. Yeah. And boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, boom. Oh, hands up. Nope. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Lily Sykes with another big kick. Going way over. Shana was there almost. It was a little too far. But Shana does a good job keeping it in. Jordan Collins trying to come over. Oh, big kick. Ooh. Oh, it was that Kendra? I think it was Kendra with the kick. Kendra, yeah. She had a strong leg. So about 26 minutes left in the game. Still 4 nothing. <laughs> so there's Emma Daltz stepping up, trying to make a play. Kendra gets the ball. Jewin Collins back over back to Emma. So Katie Huther with the ball in the middle. And then Lily Sykes over to the left-hand side. So 
So here's Lily Sykes. Over to, oh, I think that was Shanna. So Milford going down the left-hand side. Nice move. Tries to throw it out in front. Oh, and here we go. Oh, Jamie comes out. I think she got it. I think she might have deflected that a little bit. Either that or went and went right off of uh, Hannah Martin's uh, right side of the foot. No, it's uh, they're calling it a throw in. So Jamie did. Jamie was in the path of the net. That shot just went. Uh, it just went. Just off, went sideways. Uh, off the, so here's a look. Here's the replay. Nice, nice ball. Right down to the middle. Hannah Martin with the left. Hand. Yeah, just yeah, it went right off. Just the, caught it funny. Yeah. See what she was trying to do there. So, but she, oh, Shannon just got got dropped. A lot of bodies falling in the second half now, so the intensity's picked up a little bit. You know, all clean play, but there's just been a lot more intense, a lot more aggressive. Here goes Lily with a nice move over in the middle. Lily's looking. Nice pass. Oh, looking, I think she's looking for Katie Huther there. I think a little miscommunication. I think Katie thought that uh, Lily was going to continue to go on. But she didn't want to get offside. Throw in from Milford. And Mackenzie Cusack controls the ball. Looks like it might be uh, Foxborough ball. So I'm a doll with the throw in over to Jordan Collins. Milford gets control of the ball, bring it up the middle of the field, throws it up. Oh, but Mackenzie Cusack, solid defense there. Would not allow that ball to get by her. So Shana Abbott controls the ball over the right side, tries to kick one over to the left-hand side over to Caitlin Monica, tries to head it in, and the defense steps up and clears it out a bit. Caitlin Monica, though, controls it over to June Collins in the middle. Defense steps up for Milford. And Madal steps up, trying to get it back into the, uh, into the scoring zone. Kenzie Cusack decides to step up, get into the action, and throws one in, sli slips through the defense. So good action there. Yeah, I was just about to say that Milford was doing a really good job moving the ball and, and getting possession with short passes, and, and they were. And then Foxborough got the ball and started doing the same thing. Yeah. So I think both teams are you know playing at, playing at their best right now. They've they didn't seem to have worked out all the any of the kinks they had before. Yeah, yeah. Give give Milford credit. The second half, they've you know they're holding Foxborough. Uh, you know, there's been a couple of shots, but but not many. You know, and Milford's been carrying the play a little bit. Yeah, they're putting a lot of people forward, and but they're they're still those three girls in the middle are still really holding the ball and getting it down the, the correct side for them. You know, Foxborough might be getting a little tired too. It hasn't you know, Coach Stalkup hasn't hasn't subbed much uh, in this evening. It's not a hot day, so that's not, shouldn't be as big of an issue. Well, goes in again. Cage. Uh, oh, there's Shana Abbott going down the left-hand side with a beautiful kick, and just to the left. Now into the game, uh, we got Lizzie Davis coming in for, I think it's uh, Shana Abbott's coming out. So 14 in for four. So Shana had a beautiful run there down on the left-hand side. You can see that speed that Shana has. She's got those long strides. And yeah, we just keep replacing speed with speed yeah, in front. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's nice to have that. It's great to just keep rolling them in there. So we get 21 minutes left in the uh, left in the uh, the game, second half game. Oh, nice pass. Number seven making a run down the, down the side, uh, Christina Chirelli. But Alex Damato, solid as usual. A Chirelli with a little little elbow there just to say hello to Alex on yeah. the way on the way over to the sideline. Just a friendly, hey, I'm here. Yeah, Just want to let you know I'm here. <laughs> a reminder, I'm still yeah. playing. <laughs> oh, ball out front. Yeah, Jamie develops with another save. So Jamie looking, looking where to go. The big kick down left-hand side. Lizzie Davis trying to collect it. 
fighting for it. Gets it out in front. Here we go, Jordan Collins directing traffic. Oh, Katie Huther trying to uh, collect the ball. Does a good job of stopping, getting the ball, Jordan, as well. So Emma Dahl with a kick up. That was Katie. really Katie Huther one on three, just winning yeah. the ball through there. And she was, you know, Katie's a strong girl. She's, she's got a good, strong leg, too. So Katie getting it back out in front. It's over to Kendall Wentling. Back over to Milford and the defender. Milford does a good job of spacing their players, though. That, that, you, you mentioned that earlier, Joe, about the pass, short passes. But they spaced it, they spaced the plays very well. But Caitlin Mollico over to Lily, back to Caitlin. That is Jordan, ready to escape. Kendall with one, trying to get it through to Jordan. Jordan over to Lizzie Davis. Lizzie tries to take the shot. Defender hits it. Katie Hugh, the fighting for it. Nice pass back to Kendra Wentling. I'm trying to send her. And she does, but you've got Yara and Alex getting back on defense. That's a, that's a lot of speed to run by back yeah. there. Yeah. You know, if it, it, it's tough for these teams against uh, when they play against Yara and Alex. You do that, you can push them down. Yeah. That, that's one way. <laughs> um, but even, even if they get behind Yara and Alex, it, if they've got such great recovery speed that they usually will get to the girls you yeah, know it doesn't even really i mean it, the other players are seem to be ready to help and ready, ready to cut over but a lot of times they don't even need to uh they don't even need to get over there because they just recover on their own yeah it's just it's great watching that speed oh big kick oh off the crossbar and good for three another three points So the ball hit the crossbar, went through the uprights, and outside of the fence. So Jamie got another ball. This is the one with the helium in it, so it should go a little <laughs> bit further. Hopefully it's not that waterlogged one that feels like a brick when you kick it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's the Lily. Lily's getting up a little gingerly on that one. That was, I think it's uh, that hamstring. That was a little, I don't know. I think she got a, got the bottom of a cleat. Yep. Yep, Kendra goes down. Tries to pass it over. And to Milford's credit, they have, they have not stopped playing at all. No. Not, not for one second. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. Yeah, trying to kick the ball yeah. anyway. Get by Jamie. But you're right, Joe. Yeah. They, you know, she's, she's trying to make, I mean, that's that's a foul, but she's trying to make a play. Yeah. You know, you can't. No, they're, 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 you could tell the coach at halftime probably told the girls. Yeah. It's like, you know, we got to be more aggressive. We can't, you know, can't let them just do what, do what they want to do. Uh, Lee and Kibby going in uh, for Milford. So here's a replay coming down. There's Alex Tomatos. That's a no man's land, too. Look at that. Jamie going to get it. Ooh, yeah, kick, that's, kick ooh. high. <laughs> yeah. Right up, right up by the eyes. So Milford with the throw in. Kibby, who just got in, makes a nice move over to the left hand side, tries to pass it back. Good, good. Uh, I think we're off sides, yep. Yeah. All right, so Lily looks like Lily's taking the kick. So the hamstring must be okay. That's a big, big boot. Really seems like Milford's feeling it right now, though. They're. Uh, no pushing oh, back there. That, that foul not, 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 not <laughs> notwithstanding. You know, they've really been doing a great job in the last five minutes putting the pressure on and moving the ball around. They've had a couple of good chances. Oh, Caitlin Malka trying to do a good job. Oh, she saves it. Great job by Caitlin. Gets, tries to get out in front. Milford trying to just kick it out of harm's way there. I'm always amazed they're still on the field from over here. Yeah. It yeah. looks like they're <laughs> way too far away to be even on the field at all. Oh, exactly, yeah. It looks like they're in Walpole. That's how far it looks. So Jordan Collins with a nice job. Just rolls out over the end line. I always forget to get this beautiful TV sitting right in front of us, and I'm always looking at the, uh, <laughs> the live action. I could be looking right at the yeah, TV. They are, they're a lot closer right here. Yeah. <laughs> you can see all the uh, senior posters for senior senior night. Uh, the balloons blown in the wind there in, in the uh, off in the distance. So Milford with the kick out. Parents look cold over there now. 
Oh, I was just about to say the parents were out here with the uh, some of the kids when it was uh, sunny and warm, putting yeah. out the balloons and the posters, and it's a little different day right now. Oh, hopefully they all have their jackets over there. All right, so it's a Milford throw-in. 15 minutes left in the game. Still 4 nothing. That haven't, haven't broken through in the second half yet. Uh, give that uh, credit to Milford for the way they've been playing. Really, uh, really intense and aggressive there. So Alex Stamatos to clear it out. Willie tries to head it. Lizzie Davis trying to get the ball. Number 13 clears it in. Rachel LeBlanc, the captain. So Yara Faraz just watches it go out of bounds. Throw in over to Lily, getting you know, pinballed around there a little bit. Jamie DeVellis comes out, tries to grab it, but. Looks like she ran out of penalty box over there. Yeah. She was going to play it and realized I think she was going out. That's what I think. I think, yeah, she realized that she was too close to the line. All these, all these colors, lacrosse, soccer, <laughs> field hockey, I can't tell. I just know we got the, the outside yellow line is the soccer line. So looks like Foxborough trying to make a run over to the left-hand side. Kicked out by Milford. Number 17, Hannah Martin coming in for Milford. So I don't see it. looks like it's Milford's ball. I must have missed that. I thought it was Yeah, off I think it's a Milford. Milford throw over on the other side. No, so Kendra just got knocked down. Foxborough ball with a quick throw in. Another quick throw in by Yara. So Jordan Collins trying to run up to the defender. Nice play by the defense. Lily Sykes decides to take over and takes a shot. Yeah, why not? He said the goalie looked lonely, so she figured <laughs> she'd kick one in there. Goalie hasn't seen the ball in a while because, you know, we haven't really put much pressure down there. That might change, though, because Lily right now, Lizzie with the, uh, Lizzie Davis with a uh, steal, tries to get over to Jordan, back over to Lizzie, fighting through it. Oh, Katie Hugh, they're going in. Almost. Goalie came out, makes a nice play. So we've got subs coming in soon. We've got Shana Abbott, uh, Grace Ferguson, and Olivia D'Antona. So, so they got Jordan coming off. We've got Lizzie coming off and Caitlin coming off. So Milford does a good job keeping that ball in bounds. We've got to be careful going the other way. We have all four defenders outside the football numbers over here right now. Yep. And the field is so huge, it's hard to just slap it over there with one play, but. Nice ball, number eight from Milford. I'm Adeline Boyle. But Jamie collects the ball. 11 and a half minutes left here in the second half. Jamie kicks it over left hand side. Shane Abbott does a good job of controlling it. Hey, the gentle hum of the Foxville cable access truck behind us. <laughs> very nice, very soothing. So Mackenzie Cusack, a nice play. Trying to get it up front there. Alex Tomato steps up on defense, kicks one. High into the dark sky. Oh, kind of misread it and just turned it over. Yep. Lily, Lily sections with a nice ball to Shana Abbott going down the left-hand side. Shana tries to get it out in front. Milford does a good job of collecting the ball, clearing it out of danger. So Yara does a good job there, stepping up, thwarting that offensive, uh, offensive play. Yeah, despite the pressure from uh, <clears throat> from Milford, they uh, our defense is still been pretty confident playing up. Like yeah, they're not. We're not just sitting back and letting them play. So, 
Yeah, you mentioned that earlier, Joe. They're, they're way up here, you know, 40 yard line, 45 almost midfield now. So they continue to just creep up. Yeah, it'd be easy to just sit back and play defense right now, but it's, uh, you know, you don't change it to do if you got you. If it got you a 4 nothing lead, there's no reason to change it to do something else. So. Absolutely. Yeah, Lily said, fighting for that ball. Uh, Mackenzie Frazier with a nice play. I mean, Mackenzie Cusack with a nice play there. So Ken, Mackenzie brings it over to the other side over to Emma Dahl. Emma, nice ball over to Katie Huther. Katie throws one down to the right-hand side. Hopefully that ball will stay in, but it rolls out. Shana thought it was Shana. came from about 50 yards away to get that ball. She <laughs> thought it was staying in. So Milford with the kick. That's a good kick, deep. Milford and Fox were both trying to go, oh, off the arm, but let that one go. Unintentional. Katie Huther does a good job down the right-hand side, keeping that one in. Shayna Abbott trying to go to the right-hand side, bringing it out in front. Nobody from Fox were there to collect it. Good play by Shayna, though, trying to get that down the right-hand side. Yeah, that was a really nice job. It's amazing what a little pressure will do. You don't even need to get the ball. It just will force a turnover or... Yeah. You know, it's rare, It's rarely the person that we've had running at the ball. It usually ends up on somebody else's foot, but... Off, off, so white ball, there we go. That was a senior night call for Mackenzie right there. Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so Emma with the throw in. Milford does a good job keeping that ball so your in. Their defense is just packed. We're all on this side of the field right yeah. now. But Alex, Alex and Yara getting back. Yara, good, good job there by Yara. Get a foot on that one. That was that girl Kibby. She was, she was yeah. getting ready to, ready to run. Lily Sykes might be going for a run now. That was good defense by Milford. Oh, she's getting attacked. There. Look at the, the holding. A lot of holding there. Just cleared out. Out of bounds. So Milford ball with a throw in. Oh, she looks, oh, Yara back there. So Kibby trying to make a run. Over to Olivia D'Antone. Olivia tries to step up. Yara clears it out. Olivia, nice nope. job. This is where they've been pretty good. They've settled the ball down and start moving it around. And Milford's a, a different team when they do that. Yeah. So Grace collects the ball midfield, gets it over to Lily Sykes, but the defender steps up, makes a nice play. Well, it looks like Lily's hurt. Looks like she got hit. Her head was down a little bit, so. Yara with a nice, nice ball. Ooh, another one, another collision. There's been quite a few collisions today. Yeah. And Shane is like, what did I do? I'm just going for the ball. Well, it's hard when they're both looking at the ball and they're both trying to get to the same <laughs> place. Yeah. Got to know a little, little bit. So here's, so here's a replay on the collision. You know, Yara with the, with the uh, kick. Coming up, Shana. You know, yeah, I don't, I, you know, I don't see it. They both going for the ball. I think that, I think number 13. I think that uh, Rachel LeBlanc, the captain for Milford, was just off balance, and I agree with Shana. I don't think she did anything out of the ordinary there. Fox for a ball. So I'm a doll with the throw in looking for Shayna. Katie Huther gets the ball, gets the ball back. Uh, number 28, Ashley Starks. Oh, Kibby trying to go for a run, but Jamie DeVellis comes out to kick it out of the way. Yeah, Lee and Kibby. I'll tell you, she, like I said, she's been hanging all night. She's been waiting for that that one pass to get get by the defense and try to make a run. 
Jamie did a good job coming on, knowing when to come out on that one, just to just to kick that one away. Yeah, that, that timing's tricky. You never know if you want to wait in the box for the ball or come around farther yeah. out and play it. So. Yeah, Jamie usually does a pretty good job of identifying when she should be coming out. She's done a good job of that this year. So we got five minutes left here in the uh, in the second half at the Sam Burns Community uh, Field. Foxborough leading four to nothing. Uh, all four goals came in the first half so far. Uh, you know, Shayna has one, Lily Sykes has two, and, J and Jordan Collins has one for the evening. I'd like to see us get one more, in the, at least one more in the second half here, if we could. But Milford's done a fantastic job of you know, putting the pressure on, on Foxborough in the second half. Yeah, it's been a much different game yeah. from, from the first half. It's really, uh, this one's really even. It's been really back and forth the whole time, so. You know, they adjusted, I don't know if they just got off to a slow start or adjusted really well, but they've been doing a really good job. So Shanna running, run, oh, the, the nice play by the defense, fell down, but so Lily Sykes gets it, tries to get it over to the left-hand side for, uh, as Olivia D'Antono over there. And then Yara trying to kick it down for Lily. Uh, defense does a good job stepping in. Oh, Olivia gets taken out. Foxborough ball. No I, coach I didn't see happy. it. Lizzie was in the way. I didn't so. see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, I know the Milford coach, uh, Jay, Jay. I think it's Mastage. I think that's how you say his last name. I think he was not happy with that call. Great, great shot by Lily, right on net. Is that Lily? Is that Yara? That might have been. Oh, I was Lily. No, I think it was Lily. Yeah. Mackenzie uh, Kuzak with a nice uh, head ball there. Olivia does a good job keeping the ball in. Yarrow trying to get it down to, to Lily Sykes, trying to keep it in bounds. So we get about uh, three minutes left in the game. And out, out, out into the, the Lizzie Davis coming in. Uh, looks like she's going in for Kendra Wentley. A little high five on the way out. Pay the toll. There you go. <laughs> oh, nice job. Nice job by Emma Dahl. You could see the determination that she wanted that ball going down the right-hand side. That was a really long run and a really nice pass through the middle. Very nice. Oh, I see this Kibby again waiting. But there goes Yara and, and Stamatos back. You're, not, you're just not going to get by them. You're just not going to get by them. Kibbe, I think Kibby's eyes were like dish sauces. <laughs> She's like, I finally got my break. And there goes Alex and Yara coming back on defense. And to be fair, she was five yards off sides too. So <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was an even better run. It makes, it makes the defensive play even harder. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't going to say it, Joe. I'm glad you did. I'm glad you did. Well, it was right. We had a good angle. It was, it was right in front of us. I gotta be nicer to the refs. I'm, I'm really I'm yeah. gotta calm myself down here. Uh, you don't have to worry about it because they're not gonna have the same guys at track, right? So they're not gonna, they, they, they won't get you in trouble. That is true. But if you see one of them show up, then you're in, <laughs> then you're in trouble. So Emma Dahl shielding shielding the ball. A two, so two minutes left. Foxborough ball, Emma Dahl with the throw in. Katie Huther with the. Uh, the ball down the left hand side. There goes Olivia D'Antona. Controls it over to Lily. Lily with a nice move, over, dribbling with the left hand. Nice defense by Milford. Yara kicks it down into the middle. Oh, there was a there's a nice how do you do? Shannon's getting her money's worth though. Yep. That was uh, I think that was a, a, a frustration on Shannon's part. I think she uh, she got frustrated. Oh, nice header. Jamie comes all the way out, makes the play. Kibby trying to get the shot. Jamie just clears it out with a foot. 
Good job, then we get the sub in. So, so number five, number nine, Alyssa uh, Monahan and Catherine Mad, both freshmen. So that's good. So he's probably, you know, give, give him a couple of minutes in yeah. to get some varsity experience. Maybe that's the spark they need, you know, they'll off their head or yeah, something like never that. Never know, you never know. Corner kick. Secret weapons. So it will be a corner kick for Milford. Probably about a minute, maybe forty five seconds left in the in the game. Good good ball. But Lily Sykes does a great job. Not even thirty seconds. It? Well, hey, five seconds is more than none. And judging by hearing the uh, start of the cart behind us, you know, <laughs> they're, they're, they're off to the races. So, good game here by uh, the Foxborough Warriors and the uh, Milford uh, Lady, the Scarlet Hawks here. Um, you know, four nothing victory for the uh, for the Warriors. Uh, again, they got all four goals in the first half. Like you said, Joe, it's a completely different game from the first half to the second half. Uh, Milford came out very aggressive in the second half. They carried the play a little bit. Uh, you know, better in the in the first first part of the second half, really took it to Foxborough. A defense stayed strong, but the play was down in Foxborough's end quite a bit in that second half. Yeah, I really don't honestly think that Foxborough was doing anything uh, <coughs> different than the first half. I think Milford just kind of figured it out and, and really, you know, really looked like honestly that they played harder in the second half, and it, it really, um, you know, went great for them. And, you know, it was the score of the second half was really competitive. It was actually a really good half. Yeah. Um, you know, the first one was a little more, a little more lopsided, but it's really all the credit to Milford, I think, on that one to, to keep it close. No, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, it's obviously a good victory for Foxborough. Uh, like you had said earlier, you get the the word that Canton had won earlier today. So it was nice to, uh, you know, stay uh, almost basically in a tie, uh, second place with Canton. Uh, you know, so we'll both have 18. Uh, actually, probably, yeah, well, we'll have 20 points. They'll have 18 overall, but in the Davenport, the Davenport will both have 18 points, um, you know. But but it's a it's a big win. We want to you know continue with that momentum heading into the uh, into the tournament. Like I said, we're going to be playing Canton, so that's going to be, yeah. You know, we get Canton, right? Uh, Canton and then North Attleboro. Yep. North Attleboro did beat Stoughton at a three nothing. Okay. Uh, which gives them the the lead, the Davenport title. So, um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't lessen the game we have to play against them. We're gonna the Foxboro is gonna play some great teams in the playoffs. Right. Um, you know, playing Canton and North Attleboro to end is going to be a good setup for, uh, you know, for whatever they have to face next week. Yep. And here's a great shot of the four seniors. Uh, you got Olivia D'Antona on the left, Lily Sykes, uh, Shana Abbott, Mackenzie Cusack. 5 3 4 20. Uh, those are the numbers. Go so, play those in keynote. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it, it could be a lucky number. So, uh, you know, we'll be signing off here from the uh, San, Burns, uh, San Burns Community Field uh, for Joe Cusack. I'm Mark Davis. Uh, bringing Foxborough Cable Access soccer to you uh, on, a, on a beautiful night here uh, in Foxborough High School with the final score, Foxborough 4, Milford 0. Uh, last home game of the season until playoffs. So, uh, you know, come out and support the, uh, the, the winter teams. You know, they'll have the basketball will be starting up soon. Uh, Foxborough Cable does a great job all the time with the, uh, with the basketball games. So, uh, Final score, 4-0 Foxborough Warriors. Thank you for watching, and we appreciate it. Have a good night.